I really have to get one of those things that like you can hook your phone up in your car. I gotta get one of those. Uh, I don't think I can go down here, but I'm doing it. Um, I live in the city and there's a lot of homeless people. And if they come up to us, we should always give. We should always give as if we're giving unto the Lord, right? But if you're just driving by, you know, in your warm car, like everyone is worth a prayer every single time. Everyone is always worth a prayer. Always. There's never a time that we should pass like people clearly in need and not at least pray for them. It's on my heart to make those homeless bags, you know, you know, like with the necessities, like a few little things, you know, that people need. Plus like throw a five in there, you know, it's like, I gotta do that. But anyway, we should always pray. And I used to pray, like this has been like a process in my mind. Like I used to pray for tangible things for them. Like, Laura, please give them like a place to stay tonight. Like, please warm them with the fire of your Holy Spirit. Like, please like, you know, like let them find some money. Let somebody give them some money. That have. And these things are good, but there is something better. You know, we should really pray for these people that they would have revelation of Jesus Christ. Like, pray that the Lord would touch them truly. Like, pray that, because he calls to us, but, you know, we don't always, like, as we all know, you know, we don't always heed that call. You know, pray that these people would have dreams and revelations of the Lord. Pray that, you know, this, if this, if it has to be, if they have to be stuck outside, that it would be their last, you know, warm cold night night in the cold because you know the righteous have never been seen forsaken or begging for bread forgive that awful paraphrase of the verse but God doesn't leave his people on the streets period and point blank you know like believers never have perfect lives you know they're suffering in Christ absolutely you know but he does not his people if the Lord is your shepherd you shall not lack period and point blank so we should just pray you know pray for the little things for these people always but we should also like maybe include I just encourage us to include in the prayer like you know Lord Jesus please touch their lives let them come see you Lord God please touch their hearts you know give them revelation of you and you know just pray that they would keep to it because that's the long-term prayer you know like the little necessities are great but money and roofs go especially if you're not in a in a right mind like period I'm not trying to be disrespectful or rude that's just how it is I don't know about y'all but I've been there you know we've all been non-believers at one point and it's tough you know but it's 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 just everything is just like the Lord doesn't forsake his people so if we pray for you know that they would truly find the Lord like on top of all the little things like that's a that's a great prayer to pray for them I, I truly believe that that the Holy Spirit laid that on my heart that we would pray these things, especially as it's getting colder. Like, I don't know where you guys live. And, we, you know, you don't have to live in the city to, to pray these prayers because the homeless population is getting insane. I live on the East Coast, but I have family on the West Coast. And, you know, it's just entire tent city. So I just encourage us that we could just add that into our prayers that, you know, the people that are without out here find him above all. God bless you.